Hello, I'm Kayla and welcome back to my channel. And this video is going to be another 30 days reading challenge. And I'm going to start this one not from the start of the month, which is a little silly. But I'm going to start it a little late on the 7th of April. And I have The Burning Girls by C.J. Tudor to start off with. And this one isn't so much that I read so much per day, but that I read for 30 days in a row, or 31 days in a row, to see how it goes. Um, because the last time I did this challenge, but I read 30 pages a day, I read two books that month. So I want to see if I can do that again, but without the page number challenge. Um, and I've read... 34 pages of this so far and I look forward to seeing what happens next um, because it's just uh, getting into the characters and introducing them to different things so I look forward to getting through this and picking another one up during the month and when I've read a little more of this I will update in the next couple of days and I will see you then. Hello. I am back, it's been a few days and I have read quite a bit of this so far. Uh, I'm on page 277 and I'm beginning to think that the vicar in this is one of the girls that disappears um, like years beforehand. Um, but there's also some other things that I'm curious about because of a different figure was found in the cellar dead in with some coffins of some other people that shouldn't have really been there either but were um so I'm really curious and I'm not sure and I think I might read a Jack Reacher book after this um because I do have the bone season there ready to read I have the audiobook and the physical copy, but I think it'll be the Drag Reacher book next because it'll be a quicker read and it's another thriller, so it shouldn't take too long. Um, and I'm looking forward to updating you on the next update with this, and I'll update another day, and I'll see you then. Hello, I'm back, and I managed to finish the last bit of The Burning Girls. Earlier today, um, I enjoyed it. I gave it five stars on Goodreads. Um, I figured out that she was one of the girls earlier on. I think I mentioned, um, and that that turned out to be true. Um, and the boy that I thought I was um, liking the company of turned out to be an evil, sadistic little bastard. And that was a little bit of a surprise, but never mind. And the next thing I want to start to read is The Persuader by Lee Child. And I look forward to at least getting a few pages into this today. Given that I get the chance. And I'll update when I get a few pages into this. Either tomorrow or the day after, depending on how much I read. And I'll see you then. Hello, I am back and... I am currently on page 200 of The Persuader by Lee Child and it's okay so far, I'm not too too interested like I normally am um, because it's not quite the same as normal, I'm normally much more invested in it than I am with this one because this one's slightly different because um, normally he, he's on his travels on his way and he gets caught up into something that he normally doesn't get caught, wouldn't otherwise get caught up in. And with this one so far, it's not like that. Um, so I don't know what to make of that different format, because I prefer the format from the previous books, to be quite honest. Um, but I'm nearly, I'll be halfway through soon enough, and I'll see how I feel about this then when I update. Uh, to see if I've continued reading it or not, or if I've DNF'd it or not. Uh, I can't really see myself DNF'ing it at this point, because I 
because I would like to get through it. Um, I would like to finish every book this year without a DNF, given that they're all decent enough. And I'll update another day, and thanks for watching so far. With another update, and today I've read a total of 59 pages of this so far. Um, and there's 50 pages left to get through, which I'll probably get in the next two to three days rather than the next five. But if I were to read for the next five days of this book, it would be like 10 pages each. So I probably will get to finish this in the next two days. And I'm not really too bothered by this one, um, to be honest. Uh, it's not my favourite that I've read so far. Uh, I'm not really interested in the plot too much of this. Uh, even though it goes back and forth between the, the present day in this and 10 years beforehand. But I'll talk about it more by the time I've get, finished those 50 pages I guess. And I'll do you then. Hello I am back and I have managed to read to finish The Persuader by Lee Child. And I did that last night and I didn't really care too much for this one. I'll give it three stars on Goodreads. Um, I don't know if it was just me trying to get through it too quickly and missing things. But I, don't, I still don't really understand why Richard hated this character so much. I don't know if it was just because he turned out to still be alive or not. But never mind. There was only a couple of places throughout the whole book that were exciting um, or reminded us of the previous books that I've read where like things like action or interest in another woman in a woman like you always hear in each book. Um, you know, there was only a couple of instant instances where that occurred and made us enjoy and I enjoyed those bits. But the rest of it wasn't quite the same. I didn't care for any of the rest of it too much. And I found that a little bit boring to be honest. Um, I found it to be a bit all over the place. But like I said, I don't know if it's just me not taking enough notice. Or if it's just the book itself to be honest. Um, so I, ha I do have the next one in the series to read in the next couple of months. Uh, and see if that changes. I hope it does because I have like the previous books so I'll have to see with these and have already started uh, The Girl Who Dared to Stand which is book two in the Girl Who Dared to Think series by Bella Forrest. I'm only eight pages in it's not a lot I know but I do plan on reading a little bit more tonight so hopefully I'll get 20 to 30 pages in on this um see how this goes um it seems interesting so far i mean it pretty much just le leaves off from the last part of the book, uh, series immediately afterwards um so i'll see how this goes and i'll update hopefully before the end of the month because it's only a few days off and i'm not expecting to finish this before the end of the month so i might end the vlog with this being partly finished but mm -hmm. In the next vlog, you'll know what I'm saying, like, know what I'm reading, should I say. Um, and it might be this, it might not, I'm not sure. But I'll let you know in due course, and I'll see you later. I'm back, and this is the final update for this video. And I managed to complete three books this month. And I did start another um, towards the end of the month, but didn't get the finish it but I didn't really read enough of that to really warrant much of a mention to be honest I only read like 60 pages of it but I did manage to finish Why Mummy Sloshed by Jill Sims I gave this four stars on Goodreads and it was utterly fabulous as always I always enjoy these they're really good Um, I recommend these to people even if they don't have kids just to like because it's funny to see even with your upbringing how funny and how hard it can be for a parent um, 
and also the Burning Girls by Sage Tudor which I gave 5 stars on Goodreads um, I enjoyed this one a lot I normally enjoy CJ Tudor's work it normally gets 4 to 5 stars for each book so this one was superb um, I can definitely recommend it if you like people if you like a previous work or I also managed to finish The Persuader by Lee Child this one only got 3 stars it's the lowest rated Lee Child I've read so far um, but I did accidentally mix up the order of this. I should have read Without Fail instead of The Persuader. So I'm reading them in, I think, publication order. But um, I didn't care for this one that much. To be honest, it's just a bit naff, this one. Um, but I don't know if it was just me skim reading it because I didn't care that much. I, I was a little confused from time to time. It did have a little bit of action in there that I like from Lee Child's books and those minimal of the older each other that I'm used to, you know, but I have mind. And I did start a little bit of The Girl Who Did Think by Bar Forest. Um, it's a decent so far, like the last one to be honest. I enjoyed that one quite a bit and I'm enjoying this one just as much it's still pretty good and for this video I did manage to read 1071 pages and the average star rating was four stars even with three different books at three different star ratings that's pretty good uh, I think I've done pretty well for the April to be honest and I will see you soon with another video. Uh, hope you have liked this one. Hope you like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. And I'll see you soon.